That was lovely. You know, in our business, the definition of local hero can be summed up in two words, Jack Abernathy. Jack got that monitor on the cover story of B&C Magazine Broadcasting and Cable, as you know, which recently named him Broadcaster of the Year. Jack is CEO of Fox Television Stations, which was just named TV News Check Station Group of the Year. Of course, the one piece of recognition in our business that really bowls, get it? B bowls you over if you achieve it, is being named a giant of broadcasting. And it looks like Jack has a clean sweep of awards, which will now include that big cobalt ball. The 28 stations he leads produce more than 970 hours of local news per week. That's more than any other owned and operated broadcast group, and each station produces an average of 10 hours of local news Monday through Friday, which is just breathtaking if you think about it. Jack is also directly responsible for the creation of My Network TV, which is currently in its 12th season and has led the success of syndicated programs such as Wendy Williams, TMZ, Page Six TV, and Divorce, uh, sorry, Divorce Court. As a matter of fact, Jack's group can take credit for two-thirds of all first-run test shows and launches. Unbelievable. Jack's deep knowledge on the business of journalism has also rooted in having been co-president of Fox News Channel and Fox Business Network. As new Fox gets ready to launch, he proves that the key to success is a deeper commitment to what local television has always done best. Please join me in congratulating Jack Abernathy. Thank you, thank you very much. When I was told about this award, I spoke to my son, Joe, and I said, I'm concerned. He said, you should be. <laughs> the other honorees are so accomplished, and so many past winners and legends and icons in the industry, and then there's you. <laughs> and I said, now that doesn't really bother me. What bothers me, and I'm concerned about, it's the giants of broadcasting, and I'm barely 5'11". This is a great honor, and congratulations to my fellow honorees. I do feel like I've been able to stand on the shoulders of giants in this incredible business, and it's brilliant inventors like Commodore Eugene McDonald, you'll hear about soon, and past winners like Marconi, and Philo T. Farnsworth, and Vladimir Zorkian, and Lee DeForest, and legendary business pioneers like, like Bill Paley, and David Sarnoff, and Walt Disney. And perhaps most importantly, the stars that made the medium blossom, like Sid Caesar, Jackie Gleason, Walter Cronkite, and Edward R. Murrow, to name a few. We live in an incredible time in media with content, platforms, and electronic devices we could have never imagined only a few years ago. And yet I am proud of broadcasting and the impact that it's had on my lifetime. I remember watching TV during the weekend of the Kennedy assassination and feeling that I was part of something, part of a special country, one that was feeling great emotion and being held together by courageous people and resilient institutions. Or watching the moon landing and being amazed at how the pictures could get from the moon, pictures and sound, all the way to my living room. Or the excitement I felt on New Year's Day going to my grandmother's, because she had a color television. She had a brand new RCA, which meant we could watch not one, but three live football games along with the rest of the country. Or as a teenager, watching the Watergate hearings, often tedious, at times dramatic, with important lessons about law and democracy. In the years since, as an executive, I've had a front row seat on news events and sports, and it's been quite a privilege. My children have many more choices today than we did, but over the years, broadcasters have done a damn good job reporting on important events, bringing us together with shared experiencing, entertaining us with drama, 
sports, and educating and informing us. And broadcasting will continue to do that at a time, perhaps, when we need it most. Thank you very much. <laughs>